Hi, welcome to Ask the Editor. I'm Corey Stamper, an associate editor here at Merriam-Webster. One of the questions we get asked pretty frequently is, why don't more words conform to the I before E rule? You know the rule I'm talking about. It's I before E, except after C. The problem is, is that English is kind of a mongrel of a language. We've borrowed vocabulary from so many different kinds of languages with their own spelling paradigms that our spelling is not exactly tidy. This has bothered grammarians for centuries, and so, as they're wont to do, they've created rules to help people learn English spelling. One of those rules is the I before E rule. The problem is, is that I before E is a modern invention and postdates most of the IE words that entered the language. That's okay. Some people have tried to fix that by modifying the rule, and so some people learn I before E except after C, or when sounded as A, as in neighbor and way. The problem is, is that's chalked with tons of exceptions as well. If we wanted to be accurate, it would have to be something like I before E except after C, or when sounded as A, is in neighbor and way, or when it appears in comparatives and superlatives, like fancier, or when the C sounds as sh, as in glacier, or when the vowel sounds like E, as in C's, or I as in height, or it shows up in compound words as albeit, or when it shows up in ing inflections of verbs that end in e, like queuing, or occasionally in technical words that have a strong etymological link to their parent languages, such as cuneiform and caffeine, and in numerous and other random exceptions, such as science, forfeit, and weird. And that doesn't even rhyme. For future installments of Ask the Editor, visit our site, miriamwebster.com.